Hello everyone, Loganator here, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today, we are building some truly bizarre space and aircraft. Without further ado, let's get to vehicle number one. Okay, here is the final result. Uh, if you notice anything about it, it's that it is a big circle. Kind of weird. But because of the look with all these engines along the rim, I decided to call it the London I-1. Like the Ferris wheel. Let's save, and let's go out to the runway and see if it works. Okay, standing up. Not collapsing, that's a that's a good sign. Let's go full throttle and keep it stable and let's see how it goes. Well, that could have gone better. Okay. Maybe not full throttle. Okay, let's try launching from the launch pad instead. Pay no mind to these support structures floating in the air. Let's give it a go. Let's get to full throttle first, then take off. Well, you live some, you learn some. Let's move on to the next vehicle. Here we have the final result. I call it Faux because it's kind of a UFO, except it, it is identified. It's not unidentified. And uh, let's go see if it will fly. Bit bouncy, but looking good so far. And. <laughs> Sounds like a UFO.
it is just an object. Uh, but let's give it another flight. with that it's time to move on to vehicle number three So this next one I called Swiss Army Knife. You'll see why in a sec, but let's head out to the runway. Now you may be confused why this doesn't have wings, but you'll see in just a sec. Ta-da! See? It has retractable wings, and that's why I called it the Swiss Army Knife. I don't know if these have control surfaces or if they just provide lift but we'll see let's go full throttle and <laughs> Let me just give that another try. With that, I'd say let's move on to aircraft number four. This one was uh, relatively quick to make. I simply called it Fan. I hope you all are going to be a big fan of this one. <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> I'll, I'll squirt myself out. Alright, full throttle, and let's see how this goes. <laughs> Uh, not too swell there, Jebediah. Luckily, I have a plan. A bandage ship. Let's give that another go. This isn't too much better. 
kind of weird that I can't hear this engine. While Jebediah is returning to the surface of Kerbin, let's move on to the next vehicle. And here we have our final aircraft for the day, which I titled Waste Management Air. And you can probably guess why I called it that. Now let's go see if it actually flies. Okay, looking good out on the runway, probably because these wings are not that big. And let's uh, go. <laughs> but I live to tell the tale. And with that, thank you everyone so much for watching. Consider liking it and sharing it with a friend if you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more from me, subscribe today. And I will see you all next time. Bye everyone.